G'day guys and welcome back. Today, as you can see, we're back out here on Way of the Hunter and we're actually in a car right now and we're driving to a certain location. As you can see in the top left corner, we have to harvest the aggressive bear. I'm currently doing a mission to try and gain access to some private land in the, I think it's the bottom left can corner of the map. And basically we have to do a bunch of missions and I believe this is the last one and it's a pretty damn cool one. We have to harvest an aggressive bear that's been wounded. It should be somewhere around here. I've already tried this once and I hit him a couple times but he just didn't die. So I guess we're going to try this again. He doesn't normally take too long to find him so hopefully we can find him pretty quick here. But yeah, the landowner apparently wounded him and now he's a super aggressive bear. We had this challenge where we had to, we had to go find him. Here's his trucks I think. There are the, yep. We had, we had his, uh, he was super aggressive and he was killing a bunch of elk. There he is, he's right there. And as you can see, he's obviously pretty aggressive. He's come sprinting at us even though we were literally driving a car. But now he's decided to run away, which is a little confusing. Um, it's going to take a little while longer before I get a shot on him because he's absolutely bolting right now. I don't know where he went. The sound, the sound bubbles will help out a little bit. Right, so I'm going to have to wait till he calms down and try and actually get a shot on him I don't see him though that's the only issue so I'm gonna have to try and track him down here and he should be somewhere in there as you can hear his calm sound he's a four star mature I do believe this is the highest he can get I don't think he can actually get to five stars I think they give you a four star on purpose I reckon it was his genetics will be like right at the limit or something to five stars so I don't reckon they want to be able to just give you a free five star but they're obviously pretty happy to give you a four, so I am comfortable with taking him out. If he does decide to try and take a step out from these trees and actually give me a chance, that might just do it in a second if he turns broadside. It's a very small gap, but it might just do. Question is, where is he going now? He just blends in so perfectly with those trees. There he is. And that was as about as broadside as it's going to get, so I do think that hopefully should take him down, but we're going to have to go check the blood and he is aggressive um so we're gonna have another chance he's running straight to us and that also hopefully should be a good shot should have gotten into the chest cavity should be pink blood here but i guess we'll find out made it a little easier because he ran straight at us and is that red that is red blood he turned his head and his chest was completely exposed and we shot straight into it not sure how the penetration didn't get there but Obviously, we didn't get him down, and he will survive, so I'm going to have to try and track him down again. And I have located him, as you can see. He's just right on top of my right on top of my sight right there. This should be a good angle. Hopefully, that should have done it. I feel like that also should have gone into the lungs, but I guess we're just going to have to see because it hasn't the past two attempts. Oh, he's coming straight at us again. He might give us another shot in a second here doesn't seem to be we'll check this blood it is still red and it's still small amounts of blood i do not understand how this thing is tanked three shots and at least how the penetration hasn't got to him i feel like it should easily penetrate into the lungs i can hear him running around me i can't f where did he go well i'm gonna have to try and figure out where these tracks are leading to and find him again and i'm gonna have to get even more shots into him right there he is just up ahead there he is he's running around hopefully this will this will be it and we dropped him finally i do not understand what took so long and why it took so many attempts to try and get that thing down but he has died and he's just toppled over right there i do want to check the genetics i don't know what score is or what genetic potential actually will equal to a five star so i do want to find out whether this thing would have eventually become one but it takes such a long time to age age bears that I just didn't really want to wait. I mean, I don't actually know what the number is for a five star anyway, but we'll find out what these bullets did. Right, so the first shot, don't feel like that should have hit there at all. I don't feel like that's where I aimed. Second shot, too low, hit him in the leg. Again, don't really feel like that's where I aimed. And I do still kind of want to see where this penetration goes. Yeah, it's going to be not far off the lungs, so maybe that is actually where it... When did I shoot him and hit him in the foot? When did that happen? And once again, hit him in the leg. And finally, that last shot hit him in the lungs. I don't understand how all of those shots were so far off. 
That's actually quite ridiculous, but we'll check him out. He's actually got blood on his face, which is kind of cool. And he's a genetic potential of 80% on the dot. That seems like it's set. That seems like it has to be like what? 1% off of... 1% off of being uh, a potential 5 star or something. That's that's my guess. And I have some spooks some white tails, so we'll just check out there. Make sure there's no 5 star in there. But it's telling me to check back at Dustin's cabin. I do believe we have completed all the missions. And we are about to get permission to hunt. And as you can see by that big red thing, permission to hunt required, but dear river, I cannot thank you enough for ending the poor bear's misery. You've proven to me that you're a worthy hunter even better than me. You are welcome to use my land at any time. So right in this bottom left, bottom left uh, hand corner, I do now have permission to hunt, which is a pretty damn good result. I'm trying to, trying to get as much permission as possible because I do believe these have better genetics. So now... The other missions I have currently to try and get better genetics, I'm, I need to take down a white tail with a heart shot and a two star moose. And I do think stuff should have aged by now, so I might try to take down those moose. And right before we do that, we do actually have albino doe out here. Albino doe white tail. I think you can just barely see it. I also apologize for the clipping. In this clip, my, uh, my keyboard was... Uh, my settings in OBS was saying that you can just listen to all noise, so you can hear my keyboard clicking a little, but we did take down this white tail, and now we just have to track it. And I know you really couldn't see it during the clip, and I do apologise for that, but we do have it over here. I just really wanted to get it down, because I had seen it in the past, actually, in the same video where I took down the melanistic mule deer buck. I did see it, but here's the albino doe. I just wanted to get it down while I did have a shot at it. But as you can see, that thing is white as snow and it has some beautiful blue eyes as well we did take her down with a long shot and that's definitely a pretty nice trophy right so i'm back to the quest to try and trying to gain access to hunt on every every spot in the map and we're now trying to gain access to the top right corner of the map and we do have to take down a two star western moose two star or more and we do have some down here there's a one star adult and a one star mature unfortunately so there's no two star in there but I will take down the one star, one star mature to try and help out with the genetics. As you can see, we've just crossed the border and I am now in an area where I can take down these moose. And that one star mature is definitely a pretty prime candidate to try and get down. I don't think it has very good genetics at all as it is just a one star mature. So I'm just going to try and get a little bit closer and then as it lifts its, lifts its, heads, lifts its head, I will try and get a hard shot into it. There we go. Hopefully that'll I accidentally shot his friend as well. He was turning, was giving a really perfect opportunity to try and take him out, but oh, I just realized I bought a new gun. I bought a Remington 700 and it's a 300 Win Mag and would have been obviously the perfect moose gun. And I've just realized I didn't even use it. I just shot him with grandpa's old rifle, which is not exactly what you want to do. So I don't even know if that thing will go down, which is a little unfortunate. And as I expected, we do have two lots of red clear blood, unfortunately, so that guy will not go down. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. We'll definitely see him again at some point, so we'll get, just keep moving it and keep looking for that two star. And we're really not far away, so that definitely could be the same one star mature. So I might try and take him down yet again, and he's given me quite a good angle, so that'll just about do. There we go. That should have gone into a lung, hopefully. Oh, I've just done it again. I just used Grandpa's old rifle again. I need to de-equip this thing. He's going aggressive. He's running straight at me. No time to really switch guns. Surely, at least... Oh, surely some of those should have been... Should have been vital hits. And we'll be able to check the blood here in a second, because he's deciding to run away now. But as you can see, that is some bright pink blood. So I'm just going to keep marking him and making sure I know exactly where he's heading off to so there's no confusion because he was running in circles for a fair bit of that so he's going to run up this mountain should be a pretty easy track there's not there's not that much around and here he is just toppled over straight in front of us I'm curious to see what genetics this guy will have and he actually was the same one star mature as the one from before and we just hit him with a flesh hit the first time I just accidentally I just accidentally skipped through. I accidentally just put my finger on the space button. Um, that's a little unfortunate, but I guess we'll keep looking for most and hopefully find that two star soon. 
Right, so we do have another female just over there. The question is, is there a male? Yes! Two star mature, there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. That is going to complete the mission and hopefully get us access up here. You'd be surprised how difficult it was to do this. And here's the new Remington 700. Oh, he's alerted. Jeez, that just absolutely dropped him. Yeah, well, really should have used this thing on the last moose. As you can see, that thing is ridiculously powerful. We just completely dropped a moose. That's a sight you don't see every day. And we just make sure there was no better, better genetics one running out of there. Or anything good. Doesn't seem to be just a little one star young, which actually could have decent genetics, I guess. But we're not going to find that out right, right now. So we'll go pick up our two star and hopefully gain access to this top right hand corner of the map. And there he is, he got absolutely dropped on the spot, but he is a two-star, that's all I really care about, to be honest. He could have been an extremely long track, as long as he's a two-star, that's all I care about. And we hit him at the left lung and an artery, and we hit him in the right lung as well. So definitely, definitely pretty damn good. I mean, I'm just happy we get to hunt this top right corner of the map. It's all swamp land, so it seems like to be... Oh, I didn't know you could do that, like, scroll through the area of the shot, but anyway... Um, what I was going to say is the whole top right hand corner of the map is just swamp lands and I'm really excited because this is that's where the, these western most live. And this guy actually had 70% genetics, so he could have probably gotten a decent bit bigger, but you know what, I'm just happy to have completed the challenge and it's time to jump back to Ruiz's cabin and hopefully gain access. There's once again a letter left here. I don't know what I would do without your help. Yep, looks like he's going to tell me. That, that's completed, and I'm now able to hunt on this map. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize you could put uh, put animals in, in this thing, but anyway. As you can see, there's no big red mark anymore, so I do have I do have access now. So I may as well come try and look for these, some of these moose up here, because I now have the ability to. Right, so we have these geese just fleeing straight in front of me. But if you can see... The sound analysis there is some western moose straight in front of us so i'm gonna get scoped in get ready to take a shot and hopefully there'll be one i mean shot worthy actually i should probably spot them first make sure try and figure out what the genetics are that's a one star young would have been pretty bad if i shot that thing so definitely good that i didn't is there anything shootable though yes once oh one star adult should i shoot that maybe probably not he does actually look quite big but i reckon you know what i may as well just take him down i've got the ability to he's a one star adult if he was a two star no chance i would have shot him but one star i feel like i'm comfortable to try and take him down so we'll grab out our new rifle and hopefully we'll try to drop him again and that's exactly what we did man this thing is powerful absolutely smoked him and we'll take a quick look at this guy now. Hopefully he didn't have too good genetics. Uh, we'll just make the most of... Make the most of playing with this thingy real quick. Absolutely went straight through him, man. That's pretty impressive. 84.87%. Oh. I don't know what 5 star is, but... That seems like it'd have a shot at it. And that's a little disappointing to take down. Definitely, definitely wasn't the best of decisions from me, but... I guess you're not going to make a good one every single time. Right. Ooh, that is a large two-star adult. That thing might have a chance at five-star. And that's a one-star adult. That two-star looks absolutely massive. Look at his palms. They're just giant. Well, that one-star is... I think it's not even a bad one either, but... If the other one's a two-star, I may as well try and take out the one-star... Yeah, he's really not that bad either. Definitely not as big as the other one, though. And that's the first time we didn't get one dropped with this gun. And he's still not going to go down. And his mate's just... The two-star just doesn't even know we're here. Oh, never mind. He's running away now, but... Oh, he's kind of not. He's sticking around. Oh, this one is going aggressive. That's a little... A little sketchy. It's going to keep running, though, so we'll just... Let it dip, I guess, so... Hopefully that one didn't have as good as genetics as it looked to have. This may have been a pretty dodgy decision because I actually did. I do think this thing was pretty damn, pretty damn nice for a one-star adult. And here he is. He actually does look quite big for. He might have just turned into an adult, like literally 
Might have just gone from young to adult. What shot two? It's not saying I even hit him, but I definitely did. Anyway, 90%. That is just definitely not a good decision on my behalf. That thing likely would have been a five star. I guess that's, I mean, that's just going to happen sometimes, but that's going to be the last kill for this video, and that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you guys did like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.